Why hello everybody, it is your host, me, Daya. Now today, we're going to be doing something quite interesting that I normally do. And before I say anything else, please pardon the mess that you see right here. I recently moved rooms, and I'm still moving into this room. So it's going to take a while for it to get cleaned. But today's video, if you already read the title, is pretty self-fucking explanatory. <laughs> now, if for those who don't know what Wish is, Wish is basically a... I don't know what you could call it, a... A shipping app where basically you can buy stuff and it's for extremely cheap prices so you get what you buy basically if it's like one dollar you're gonna get shit but I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh fan and I saw that they actually had <laughs> they had Yu-Gi-Oh cards for sale now they were pretty uh, pretty cheap for like a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I'm thinking to myself because Yu-Gi-Oh cards booster packs as themselves are pretty cheap. So, why not buy some? So, I bought two packs. One that is a 18 pack, I think it's coming in, I think, tomorrow. And two, which are like two card packs. Now, note, I have never fucking... <laughs> I've never heard of these card packs before. <laughs> They're the weirdest fucking shit I've ever told you. And today, we're gonna be looking over them. Like... Wow. And just for some clarification, this is a real Yu-Gi-Oh card. It, it feels like paper, and not only that, notice how it looks pretty good, pretty spicy, pretty well. has all the classic stuff. But you can clearly tell that it is a Yu-Gi-Oh card because of this little thing right here. It says, if you look close enough, Yu-Gi-Oh. It also has a proper stuff in a lot of the chunks, so. That's gonna be our clarification, so. Uh, before we also say anything else, look at the reading, alright? I want you to memorize it, because that's what we're going to be looking at today. So, I opened the first pack, which is interesting. Let's, let, let's read this pack. Sorry, I mangled it before I got the chance to read it, but... Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game Dark Neostorm. It is a six per card pack. Six and older, and it has this little weird mark. I've never, I've never seen that mark on a Yu-Gi-Oh box before. So you already know that this shit is fucking trash. First things first. Oh dear God, how mercy alive. Let's start with the first pack that I got. <laughs> Starting off with the first card. Let's read it. You can already tell that these things are fake because it reflects and the fucking writing is weird. Also, you can also tell that it's fake because of the fucking back. It reflects! I don't know about you, but if I did this, it barely reflects, right? Pull out this card again, look how much it reflects. Because it's made out of fucking plastic. But let's read this show. It's probably just the same card. But, uh... Fuck, clearly ass stolen, so... This is actually a real card, but, uh, it's fake. Let's take a look-see and see if I can find one, because I've never heard... Energy saving cut the warrior... <laughs> Dragon warrior. I'm not making this shit up. I've never seen this card before. Let's read off its effects, shall we? <laughs> the Magic Valkyrie and Dark Magician Girl. Oh no, Dark Black Magic Girl. This card is only to special summon this card to summon fusion. It indicates the presence of limited on the site. Give up one ticket on the site of the the start card trap card invalid and destruction on both sides of the cemetery. One dragon monster attack increases. Okay, um, these cards are old. Old fake cards. We have old fake cards. <laughs> So probably we're, these things were probably sitting in a warehouse collecting dust, and my ass decided to fucking buy them. So, 
Everything. Everything. <laughs> Never mind. These things are not old. Because there's a fucking Link monster in here. <laughs> Let's read off the effects, shall I? Because I've never heard of this monster. Cannot be linked. Cannot be used as Link material. This Link card is unaffected by monster effects during the battle phase. So it's basically just a normal card. But it's fake because it shouldn't make the sound. God. Okay, this one's just fucking stupid! <laughs> anyone who's played a Yu-Gi-Oh game before, or anyone who's actually watched the anime, knows that this card does fucking nothing because it doesn't exist. Let's read it, shall we? <laughs> Millennium Building Block. This is confusing. One round, one time, the opponent... To say this round can be action must be in pay what? If not carrying another action, this follow the card since the cemetery owner moderately brockas can peep the human through mode. Ancients can you see what the fuck? This is utterly the most weirdest, fakest, and dumbest card I've ever seen. <laughs> They're all normal cards. They're they're just all normal cards, but they're fucking fake. But they have that new card smell. They have that new card smell going for them, so. so the first card we have Gym Knight Zircon. They're trying to be fancy and putting these holographic things on them. But it's fucking failing because the cards are fake, so that's just hunky dory. These are just cards I've never seen before. That's probably because I never really play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. These are all cards that are real, but they're fake. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, yeah, this is an interesting one. Uh, whoever has played the game Yu-Gi-Oh, which uh, most people have, um, know about the Egyptian God cards. I don't know about you, fam, but, uh, this is not the Winged Dragon of Raw. That is totally not the Winged Dragon of Raw. That looks like something someone would made off a deviant art. Why does Witch have to be so bad? It does the same thing. It does the same thing as the fucking card, but Jesus Christ, is this fake AF? And then we have the last one. This one puzzles me, because it's the same as Millennium Building Block, but different. <clears throat> one on one round, can we can we we can confirm their own card group and the card crown Millennium I don't know that symbol. And the name of the card is sent to the group after it launched the card into the cemetery owner. Modern Good Tap here? Tap here can detect the existence of an artifact or monster location. Huh? Okay, this is a dumbass card. Wow. Now, the cards I just sent to you, well, basically explained to you, are fake. Clearly. But... The fact of the matter is that Wish is getting away with this, and these people are actually making money. I believe I saw some dude got... <laughs> actually got a card called Exodia, and it was a 10 level card, and did not do the things that Exodia did. But, that is the things that I have bought on Wish. There is one more package coming in, and I will send... well, not send, but make a video about that one. And oh dear god, I'm looking forward to it, because I have another pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards coming in, and that's gonna be fun. But anyways, if you like this video, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you know when I post. I'm gonna be making videos kinda like this, because this is utterly fucking ridiculous. And yeah, hold that bleach tight, because you're definitely gonna need it for the next episode. What do you have to say about this, Maddie? She's, she's, she's fucking sleeping. Okay, fine then.
Bye.